What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. <coughs> I am Guitar CFT, and I am in a creative world. We're not in my LP world today because I wanted to do something different today. I want to take a look at designing some ships. <coughs> um, I'm pretty new at the whole ship designing thing, um, so I just kind of want to dive into this. Let's go ahead and get, some, get our ship building materials here. Uh, we're going to need... Uh, let's not start with that. We are going to need, we have light armor blocks, we're going to need a cockpit, uh, we'll need a large reactor, large thrusters, uh, gyros, well, that was already on there, um, uh, we'll go with medium cargo containers, then, um, it's probably going to be good for now. I can't wait to play with this thing. I haven't really come up with any good ideas to use this yet. Uh, I think Dark and I will probably use some stuff in our multiplayer series. He's probably a little bit more creative than I am. Let's just be honest. Um, th so, you've seen my welding, or my, uh, my grinding ship, or my, I'm sorry, you've seen my, uh, my drill ship. So... Let's go ahead and start with that, and I'll kind of talk about my thought process behind building this thing. Um, so I started here, obviously, with a, with a small ship, and I haven't built too many large ships. In fact, I haven't built any at all. I haven't progressed that far in any of my games. Um, so the reason I built this thing the way I did... Ah, let's get the right controls. I was, I started here because I want a central line coming through this ship, um, and so I, I started here. And let's turn our jetpack on, and we're gonna come out a little ways. I probably won't build this ship exactly the same as I did in my LP. I'll probably go a little bit more the same way I did in the uh, in our multiplayer series uh, simply because I you know <clears throat> that I thought about that one a little bit more and <clears throat> I was able to perfect the design a little bit better now let's go ahead and throw our cockpit down Get it lined up. There we go. All right. So, Eric, the first thing I I do is I, I throw my large reactor on, um, and the way I like to put this thing on is just right here behind the cockpit. I want to make sure that I can. I want to see where the doors line up. Okay. I like to get it right there, and then we will go with a conveyor pop it down right there put another one right there and throw in a tube to connect those two alright now we've got that um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on the cargo container not that just make sure that your doors line up when you when you do that one all right, and this is the design change that I did. If you remember, <coughs> I, I had this thing facing kind of kind of funky, and it w and then I had to come down with those large tubes off of one of these doors. So what I did was I I connected it here. It, that door is connected to my cargo container there, and then I'm coming off of that. Right here, one more. And then we'll put a conveyor. Well, actually, you know what we'll do next is we will put on our connector. We're done with the cockpit, so we can do that. Throw it on there. 
And then we'll put a conveyor down here that will connect to the connector. Uh, nine. There we go. So now what we have, we have, we have our resource flow set up. Uh, it's going to come into the drills through here, follow down the down the middle. Um, it's connected to the connector here, and because I did it this way, the connector is going to fill up with resources first, and that's fine. Uh, that means absolutely nothing to me. Once this fills up, it'll back up and start filling up the medium cargo container. Um, so that was my design change. The reason I did it this way was so that I would no longer have that those bulky tubes coming down here and just adding all that bulk to the bottom of, of the design. A little bit more... Oh, wrong one. Wrong one. So it gives us a little bit more of a streamlined design. Oh yeah, and I have the reactor connected to the container there so I can come in here and put my uranium in right there and and I never actually have to touch the reactor and I can just seal it off typically on these ships I always put three <coughs> gyros on it usually because I'm using large thrusters and heavy armor let's go on to make to making our drill um, I guess I'll encase these tubes real quick. Not there, there. I, I'm probably making my nose a little bit shorter than I <coughs> normally would, but that's okay. Okay, so we have our nose now. <coughs> uh, we'll, we'll just start with some tubes. Uh, let's just come out four to give us a to give us a good a good width and we'll throw on a conveyor we'll do the same thing on this side and then same thing up and down okay so now we have a basic outline of where we're gonna go with it so we'll throw on some drills Just put those, put that right there. You make sure I get it on the door. I, I talked about this in one of the more recent episodes with Dark. <clears throat> the reason I don't make a plate is because each one of these drills has a certain area that it's going to drill out, and it just seems more efficient to me um, to place these things in, in a manner where uh, the radius lines up and and this spacing seems to work I think in my LP uh, I did it a little bit further out um, but we'll, we'll we'll check that out as we're going here uh, so the next thing we need to do is we need to encase these tubes okay so now we have that done we need to start placing our thrusters and I don't know if you've seen my <clears throat> my previous designs. Okay, I'll have to put on put on some. Okay, I can do it here. Never mind. I'm sure there's a way for me to do this plate in one, and I'll figure that out eventually. But for now, that works. <clears throat> Uh, I'm not capping these off yet because uh, as we go through the design, we may add some more. Okay, so back to thrusters. All right, so the way I like to do this um, <clears throat> I like to do this in a way that adds the thrust. Uh, the the thrust that puts me that makes me go forward at the front of the ship. The reason I like to do that is because a lot of times, in fact, always I put my connector at the back of the ship here. That just seems like the natural place for it to go. Um, and if you have large thrusters towards the back of the ship, um, I read somewhere that 
the connector itself won't take thruster damage, but if there are any blocks around it, those blocks will take thruster damage, and when they get damaged, it will damage the connector that you're that you're attached to. So <clears throat> uh, that that is how I go about uh, avoiding that. As long as you have these, you know, so many blocks away, when you apply that thrust. Um, you're not going to damage it. And the reason I use large thrusters is because these connectors, even when they're shut off, they have a mag lock. And it seems to me that to be able to break that mag lock, you've got to apply quite a bit of thrust on your initial acceleration. And small thrusters, you just have to line so many of them up, and it, it just seems incredibly inefficient to me. So we have rear facing, side facing, downward and upward. So let's go to the other side and place and place some thrusters there and I'll be back to you when I get that done. All right, so now we have both of our side thrusters set. Let's let's get our retro thr thrusters put on. <clears throat> this is always the challenge for me because for your your stopping thrust or your reverse thrust you now have everything on the front of your ship in front of them so as you've seen what I like to do is I like to come right up here so that I'm above the uh, the thrusters there and just make a small a th thruster assembly right here we'll go back to our large thruster put it that way and I put it as far oh that's not where I want to put it let me fix this okay so I want to put this as far back as possible so when you're reversing your your thrusters don't actually uh, apply 100 percent but when you're stopping uh, when your inertial dampeners are on they do <laughs> and uh, let's see we are uh, let's see from the front of this we're one two one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen so that may be good but if I I feel like if I had something on right in front of there it would most likely take damage. There we go. Now our drill ship is complete. Uh, let's see. Just do a real quick test just to see. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. That's why, that's why my controls don't work in, in, uh, in creative. Alright. Now... I always drive in third person view just because it it's easier for me. Now we're gonna go stop. Nothing appears to take damage when I do it that way, so looks like we're good. Okay, so you see where I'm going with this. At this point, it's just cosmetic, <clears throat> making it look a little bit better than it does at the moment. Um, and I'll probably do quite a bit more off camera and show you what I come up with. Let's move on to a different style of ship. Um, what we need to do now is design a welding ship. Okay, now my frustration with the small, <coughs> small welding ship is that we can't use the small tubes. Let's go ahead and get those off of our hotbar and replace them with the conveyors. the large conveyors now as you can see you can't place it on the landing gear so I can't get the same central central line and flow of materials that I had in the last one so what we're gonna do instead um, let's go here and here and then we'll come back Uh, you notice I'm 
starting my designs <coughs> almost all the same. We need a cockpit. Let's go ahead and place that down. Should we get it up at the front? Okay, there's our cockpit. Now we need a large reactor. Okay, so let's place our reactor. There we go. <coughs> um, now on this one, we can put the cargo container right beside it. Now here's where things get interesting because <coughs> to to start a ship like this um, for the welding ships and the grinding ships you know we need to match up our conveyor tubes so let's go ahead and we'll just start from where we need to match it up there we go and then we'll grab our welders and we'll just go ahead and throw these on make sure we're lined up there we go okay so what do we need to do now to match up <coughs> our doors on for a connector to go on here well I think what I'm gonna do well, those can't pass through small doors. So, let's do this. Wait. Okay, these are large doors on all on our, all four sides. That's good. Why can't I place it there? What am I missing? I could place that one. There you go. There it is. What? Okay, let me get this figured out. Okay, that was weird. For some reason, I just had to <coughs> place it in that line. Uh, let's go back here. that and then <clears throat> here and then we'll throw on our connector <clears throat> and that should be it for these components connector okay now our conveyor system is built and that works um, I think I'm gonna move my cockpit forward because I still need space for um, all <clears throat> for three gyroscopes so I actually think that will do it. So let's go and grab a cockpit. Okay. So there we have it. <clears throat> now we need thrust. And how are we going to do it on this ship? Uh, it's probably going to take me a little bit to work it out. Uh, the good news is that as far as a small ship, this is going to be interchangeable. Um, I can do two ships exactly like this. One for grinding and one for welding. Um and for all intents and purposes I think this is going to be pretty efficient um, if it was a grinding ship what I would probably do is I would probably put conveyors in that space right there and that space right there 
uh, not have this right here and drop down grinders <coughs> on the top of it. So let me work out the thrusters and I'll show you what I come up with and then we'll work on it just a little bit more. Okay, there we have our forward thrust, <coughs> our forward thruster assembly. Let's work on making the exact same thing on this side. All right, let's uh, let's skin this out a little bit. Now, the inter interesting thing about this design is that for my reverse thrust. I'm not really gonna have to add any wings or anything to make this thing bigger. Um, I could probably just do something similar to <coughs> five. Uh, let's lay him down. probably just do something like that now let's make sure I have two two going in reverse two going down two going up one going to each side and two giving me forward thrust so let's remove the landing gear um, skin this out a little bit more We'll work on that in a little bit. Beautification for me always comes last. I want something that is going to work uh, before something that looks good. Right. All right, let's make sure she flies. Oh, let's not run into our other ship. All right, so she's a little bit bulkier, but I did her completely out of heavy armor. Um, just want to move that in. So, yeah, she she's a little bit heavier to move. I may need to add some some more thrust. Uh, but you're going full speed or close enough. We're using about a quarter of our power to stop. We go up to about 34%. Uh, if you want to test, if you're wanting to test your power usage. Uh, the best way to do it to, to see if you're going to max out your power is to apply your inertial dampeners and that will max it out um, because your thrusters will fire at 100% and your thrusters are typically the bulk of your power usage. Um, so uh, grinding ship would be this exact ship but with grinders on the front of it and like I said I would probably extend and create some more grinders um, use much the same concept I use with this you want <coughs> welders covering the outside edges of the ship um, so that's gonna be it for today or, or at least for this recording block this may just end up being a clip on my EP I haven't decided yet or on my LP um, and like I said I, I would skin this out to make it look better um, I just wanted to uh, share with you guys my thought process when I'm building a ship and trying to make it work and by all means if you have suggestions on making either one of these better um, I want to hear them like right now, I'm seeing I could probably put my 
reverse thrusters down here. Um, I don't know. I think, I think we kept it somewhat balanced there. Well, that's going to be it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this little session of building with me. I just wanted to cut you in on my thought process when I'm building these ships. By all means, if you have suggestions, leave them in the comments. I would love to see what you guys have to say on what would make these a little bit more efficient. Um, the ship, by all means, is not space efficient, but at the same time, I'm going to be able to load this thing up with a, a pretty good chunk of uh, components. And same thing with this. Um, I think this one is pretty space efficient. Um, I can load this thing up pretty hard. You've got 80,000 liters of um, storage in the cargo container and then 33,000 in each one of the drills. Um, so I, I can get quite a bit of uh, use out of that. I appreciate you tuning in and joining me on this little uh, process of building my ships and how I think about it. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.